UN 영어 뉴스 Women's World Cup 2023 Hall e Builder says Spain prayers are eternal after they beat England Even in glorious triumph the sounds of disapproval rang out in Hall e Builder's direction as his prayers celebrated winning the World Cup for the first time after defeating England 1-0 Boos rang out in the crowd when the jubilant Spain boss was pictured on the big screen, being congratulated by Spain's Queen Letizia at Stadium Australia. Moments earlier, Vilda had looked up to the sky, raised his hands, and screamed with joy when the referee ended the match to confirm Spain. As world champions, controversy has followed Vilda at every turn of this tournament, and even in victory, there was no escape. This will go down as one of the most remarkable triumphs in Women's World Cup history, with Spain entering the tournament amid a backdrop of unrest and a number of players unhappy. with Bilda, who had survived a prayer revolt to keep his job. The Spanish Football Federation, RFEF, released a statement revealing that 15 players had submitted identical emails saying they would not play for Bilda unless significant concerns over their emotional state and health were addressed. Last 15, as the players became known, denied the claims they had asked for 42-year-old Bilda to be sacked, but tension followed amid reports of concern over training methods and inadequate game preparation. Yet in Australia and New Zealand, his players put aside their differences to conquer the world. in an impressive style at just their third World Cup, prompting Spain's official Twitter account to post Bilda in. The girls are eternal now, and they have a star on their chest forever, said Bilda. It's been very easy to manage the group. We are a family. We are world champions with a family of players. Just ridiculous, Spain were made to wait before they could finally celebrate. After 13 minutes of stoppage time was signaled at the end of 90 minutes, it was not until the 105th minute that the referee brought the final to an end. Some of Spain's players were in disbelief as the magnitude of their achievement started to sink in. Others were in tears. Spain came into the tournament, missing some of their best talent due to the player revolt, including several members from Barcelona's triumphant Champions League campaign like Marpi Leon, Pat Patri Guizarro, and Sandra Panos, three of the 15 selected. were recalled after having been frozen out of the national setup after a protest, including midfielder Aitana Bonmati and defender Ona Battle, who both started all seven games in Australia and New Zealand. When they lost Fournier to Japan in their final group game, they looked a long way. from being world beaters. No one should lose hope, said Vilda, after that defeat in Wellington on 31 July. We have not seen the best Spanish team yet. This defeat hurts. The players are angry, and I am convinced they will be better. After his side's World Cup victory, Vilda described the Japan defeat as a turning point. adding, it made us react 
the team changed and the players increased their contributions. Mentally, they were much stronger. I believe these reasons helped us reach the final and won the final. Indeed, Spain bounced back from that setback to defeat Switzerland, the Netherlands, and Sweden to make the final against European champions England. La Rosa produced a tactical masterclass even after Captain Olga Carmona's winner. They enjoyed more possession and attempts on target. For me, it's credit to those players. Former England striker Alan White told BBC One to win a World Cup is just absolutely phenomenal. It takes a lot of guts, mentality, desire, hard work, togetherness. The way this Spanish team played today was just unbelievable. The way they moved the ball was just ridiculous. Spain are the fifth team to win the FIFA Women's World Cup after the USA, Germany, Norway, and Japan. Progress has been phenomenal. 17 of the 23 player squad were appearing at their first World Cup, including keeper Kata Ko and 19-year-old forward Salma Paraluelo. Despite the controversy that followed him around, Vilda was not afraid to make bold decisions. After the defeat by Japan, he gave a senior debut to call, while Paraluelo came off the bench to score in back-to-back -back games, as Spain performed admirably throughout the knockout stages before deservedly overcoming England. Spain's players performed on the pitch despite all of the noise of it. Before the semi-final win over Sweden, long-serving forward Jenny Hormoso, Hermoso spoke emotionally of the progress made in the women's game since she made her senior international debut in 2012 when he used to play in front of crowds of a few hundred. On Sunday, she celebrated winning the World Cup in front of 75,000 in Sydney. Spain now have women's world titles as senior, under 17 and under 20 levels. This Spanish side, this nation, what they have achieved in women's football over the last two years is phenomenal, added White. This is unstoppable Vilda, who has been in charge since 2015, was asked afterwards whether he would pursue other job opportunities after masterminding Spain's World Cup success. His contract with the national team is due to expire in 2024. Right now we are going to celebrate, said Vilda. We are going back to Spain to see our loved ones and we will see. Meanwhile, Carmona held her unstoppable side. We have suffered a lot over the past 12 months. This has made us a stronger team, she said. We had the feeling we were going to do it. This is unstoppable. The Spanish FA revealed that Carmona sadly found out after the match that her father had died. 